So look at this X here. What's happening to the X? I don't think being good at math is how fast you can multiply or getting things right on the first try. And I think once kids come to realize that, they can sort of just open themselves up to enjoying the class. The inverse cosine, we'll talk about what that means later. As he said in his chapel, math is like a language. You have to be surrounded by it for you to actually understand it and have fun with it. I prioritize developing literacy in all three facets of the language, reading it well, writing it well, and speaking it well. The sine of theta, right? The sine of theta, because when you combine command of all three of those things with the willingness to figure things out, then there's, there's no concept you're not going to be able to understand down the road. We're encouraged and do participate in basically every discussion and class every day that makes it a lot more entertaining. When you get up and go around and like solve problems differently, I think that could really change the way that like a lot of people think about it. I think I take pride in the fact that it is known to be a difficult subject. From the perspective of this angle, angle A, and I sort of enjoy taking on the burden of getting students who don't like math or had negative experiences with math and then leaving here, graduating or coming into eighth grade, telling me that their class, this class is their favorite or they enjoy math or whatever it may be. That's probably the most, that's probably the most rewarding part.